I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Come closer, come closer. It's time to talk. <laughs> It's time to start a story, to write a new story right here at Isaac's Football Club by FC. Hmm. Yeah, if you are new, subscribe to RFC Football Club. Hit that notification bell, you don't have to miss all the sweet dreams right here, right here, not anywhere else, right here. We have to do something about this, you know? It's not a new story, it's not, again, it's not the old story either, right? If you think about Chelsea hierarchy and upstairs up there making decisions left, right and centre, if you think all that stuff, what they're doing. You think they're going to change the structure. You think they're going to be like, okay, we have to listen to the fans, what they are, the fans they're saying, right? We need experienced players in this team. You think they will listen to that, you know? It's... it's Ah, what can you say at the moment? What can I say? Or, like, I've seen so many Chelsea fans, they're like, what can we say? What can we say? That's the way they're using What can we say? We have said enough. <laughs> we have said it enough. Oh, my goodness, mate. Look at this. Chelsea, as well as Bruce Dortmund and other big clubs, are monitoring Johan Bakayoko. That's the name, right? Johan Bakayoko plays 42 to 50 million. Oh, no, please. Give me somebody else. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I'm, I'm really, really tired of this. Really tired. Really tired. How much money do you want to make? How many players do you want? Chelsea, please tell me. You know, upstairs, up there, you know, up top, up the roof. How many players do you want to get? This uh, summer transfer window, we heard that you guys want to sell 15 players. You want to sell as much as you can because we are in trouble with FFP, right? That's all we are healing. Buying another 18 year old, that, this doesn't make sense. Doesn't make, I don't even know who is this. Do you know, guys? Johan Bakayoko. We're bringing another, another Bakayoko. We, I, is Bakayoko still a Chelsea player? Let me know down in the comment. The first Bakayoko, not this one. Yeah, <laughs> I think he is. I think so. Because I, I don't even know where he is. Malansa is still a Chelsea player. That I know. And I was surprised to hear about Malansa is still a Chelsea player. But this guy, Jonathan, I call him Jonathan. It's not Jonathan. It's uh, Yo Johan, something like that. Johan, because sometimes this name, uh, when you pronounce Johan, sometimes, sometimes J is like silent. So sometimes it's like, Johan, you know, just like Gabriel Jesus. Some people call him Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Some people call him that. Jesus. Jesus. Some people call him Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> so all these names sometimes are confused. Confusing. So, another Bakayoko Chelsea are linked with. 18 year old, of course. Egg Bali. Egg Bali. Egg Bali. What are you guys doing? Come on. Give us a striker. You know, give us a quality striker. A 29-year-old striker. Quality. Experience. Look, the Chelsea team in every department need experience. The midfield, the defense, the strike, and the wingers need 1-1-1 one, one, one experience. If they do that in the summer, it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be very, very, very good. And they will see. You know, they will see. Okay, we are we are now on something here. We are we are working on something. We are working on our structure. But I'm scared. I think I mentioned this again. I'm scared. This is going to take six years to seven years so that uh, they, to for them to realize. Like, okay, guys, guys, look, we have been far away from this. You know, right now, no striker wants to come at Chelsea. A quality striker. You know, no one. Not even a striker. A midfield. Nobody wants to come. 
because Chelsea they are not operating at the top level club. We are operating like we are Blyton and of course we are. We are operating like we are Southampton. Now talking about no, no quality players wants to come to this Chelsea football club. Check out this. Bayern are ready to sell Joshua Kimmich this summer if a suitable offer arrives. The German midfielder is open to a departure. There are only five possible destinations. Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United, Chelsea and PSG are not options for him. Now, this link I just show you, sometimes they don't you know, sometimes they're weird giving information. They don't give you quality good information, but sometimes they give you information that, oh, okay, that's, you know, when you when you search from somewhere else, you find it, it's brilliant, it's good. Kimmich is a quality player. And I understand why Chelsea and Manchester United is not an option for him. Manchester United, they're operating like they're, you know, like Chelsea, like uh, Radcliffe, he wants, uh, who is this guy? Grand Porter to take over at Manchester United. That's another story for another day. <laughs> it's just crazy, mate. Crazy. So, Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Joshua came in past the five uh, clubs he would love to go. And yeah, of course, we understand. <laughs> Arsenal, they're the biggest club in London right now, right? Right now, yes, we can say they are the biggest club in London because they're on top of the table. Now, talking about Arsenal, I saw something uh, yesterday, I don't know, yesterday, I forgot to, you know, to uh, save it somewhere. Antonio, uh, West Ham strike, Antonio was talking about Arsenal fans, and they are, he was saying they're annoying. He was like, uh, that he, somebody was asking him in an interview, maybe, that was an interview? Or maybe, no, I don't think it's an interview, he was just saying about Arsenal fans so annoying and you know they just love to talk too much and they're thinking right now like they are the biggest club in the world because they are on top of the table and they're thinking they're gonna win the Premier League this is what Antonio was saying not me so when I was reading that I was just laughing I'm like oh dear <laughs> and it's not and it's not lying because I saw some Arsenal fans uh, uh, I think three days ago when uh, that is three days ago when no 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 it's three days ago when they won uh, what what game did they won so they they can so they go on top of the Premier League I forgot the game I'm trying to remember I forgot the game well, they won it's 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 okay it's okay <laughs> that game he was talking about that when the Arsenal fans they were like noisy because you know they are on top of the table they're about to win the Premier League and they went nuts everywhere. Antonio was, you know, <laughs> not happy about that. Now, yesterday, Liverpool lost to United, right? And I came up here, happiness, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I was happy and I'm still happy today, right? Manchester United did a big, big favor to Chelsea Football Club, for Chelsea. Of course, that's the word, for Chelsea. A big favor. Remember when we lost the Carabao Cup? In the final, what uh, Liverpool fans did to uh, our players, what did uh, they were saying? Check out this, first. I'll show you. Enzo, Look at uh, what they did to Enzo Fernandez, you know, calling him Enzo, Enzo, ah, I'm laughing about it. And uh, Modric was just sad walking up upstairs there, right? You know? They say, um, what is this? They say, uh, what's, what's the power? I forgot the power, they say. They say, don't don't uh it's i forgot the parab <laughs> forgot the parab it's uh it's an african parab it's in my country they say don't laugh at the monkey the monkey is bad <laughs> you also you have a bat <laughs> you know like a bat i don't wanna like swear you know what i'm saying a bat your bat don't laugh at uh, the monkey's bat because yourself you have a bat so they were laughing at us, right? And then after they lost to uh, Manchester United, what happened? Look at this. There's some swear in there, I'm sorry. If you don't want to hear it, you can close your ears and then open them when it, with uh, that guy stop swearing. <laughs> them was worse than Old Trafford. Look at that. That guy is insane. He was laughing at them so, so hard. And I was like, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Manchester United, for making us.
feel good. <laughs> this was a big favor, you know. Manchester United did a big, big favor for Chelsea yesterday, and I, I'm, I'm still loving it. When I saw this, I was just like, uh, uh, "Good job, good job, guys. Thank you very much." <laughs> so Pochettino spoke about Raheem Sterling getting, you know, boo in this in the stadium. To the Chelsea fans, they don't. Uh, like Raheem Sterling, what he's doing, and he doesn't score goals, and he's just running to prayers. Like he does all that stuff. It's, it's true, right? And he came up on on uh, on his Instagram. He posted something. He said, you know, he apologized for yesterday game, and he used to do better. You know, he has to do better, and he knows that. And yeah, next game is gonna try to push, and he's gonna try to fight for a team. And all this we are seeing right now, you know, he's gonna make sure we don't see it. Again. Again, I don't trust that. Liam Sterling, you know, he just likes to run into, run into players and just being selfish. He is like that. He is like that. He's, he, that's in his blood. It's in his nature. You know, he's selfish. He doesn't want to pass the ball to somebody else. Just, he, he took the ball from Palmer. There's a creep when I, I saw yesterday. Uh, Palmer was with the ball, you know, bouncing the ball like this, and he, he's trying to take a penalty. And Raheem Sterling went straight to Palmer and took the ball and put it on the center, and he failed to score a penalty. So, if you have a penalty taker in the team, let the penalty taker get the ball and score. Let him do it because he's a penalty taker. And that is on Poch. That is on Pochettino. And you, you know what he did? Here he took off uh, Modric and he left Sterling on the on the pitch and the fans they were not happy about that. That is on Poch and this is what I said yesterday. Mm. This performance is it's on Pochettino because as a manager you have to take a big responsibility on your prayers. You have to, you know, those small things. The, those small things looks like they are not important. They are very important. They are very, very important. You know, like him Sterling is noticing that the Chelsea fans are not happy. His performance needs to change. He's noticing. You know, the bulls of that stuff. Boo! He's noticing, and he's not happy about that. Of course, he will not be happy. <laughs> so for him to fail to score a penalty, that was just criminal. It was crazy. And he had another chance one on one. He failed to score. All that stuff, right? So, hopefully, it change. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see if uh, his words are true. If words are true. So now, there was another instance. This one. Look, this is what I said yesterday. Petrovic needs to start every time, and this is not a uh, disassi problem. It's not disassi problem. It's on porch, like I said. It's on porch because you know the goalkeeper was the best goalkeeper is Petrovic. You have to start a best goalkeeper in these crucial games, very important games, like FA Cup is very, very important, a cup, very important. It's the oldest cup, FA Cup, oldest, and everybody knows the FA Cup. You see Disasi is giving the ball to a goalkeeper. A goalkeeper has to be aware. Did you see that? The goalkeeper does not have to come out like that. That's criminal. That's criminal. You cannot come out like that. Especially if a defender, your player, the player you know, is with the ball and there's a player very close there. Paston Daka was very close to Adisasi. This is why Paston Daka took that ball as a goal, you know? Because he was he was the one very close there to push Adisasi to pass the ball to Pedro, to uh, sorry, to Sanchez. And Sanchez was not even in the goal. He was off, you know, way, way out. Like, look, way, way out. <laughs> you can't do that. So this is why Perovic needs to start in this type of games. Very, very, very important. So guys, let me know down in the comment. What do you think about that? Pochettino speaking about, uh, about the fans. You know, they need to back me. They need to back the players. The fans, they are the fans. Win something and the fans, they will trust you. The fans, they will back you. Win a trophy, win the FA Cup, and we'll start talking maybe a little bit again, you know? <laughs> if you win the FA Cup for me, I will give him a little bit of brief, a little bit, not much, but a little bit. He needs to win the FA Cup, but we know it's going to be very difficult.
going to be very difficult. And let me not down about the Liverpool fans who are laughing at Chelsea, you know, after they won the Carabao Cup. And then after they lost to United, they were laughed too. <laughs> Don't laugh at the monkey's bat. You have your bat too. <laughs> Don't forget that you have your bat. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, uh, that's that, that's a paragraph I was trying to remember <laughs> oh wow and one thing I forgot Jorgen Krupp is a weird one Liverpool manager he's a weird one you know it's not every time you get success it's not every time you eat food on the table sometimes you know you won't have food on the table you gotta drink some water and go to sleep sometimes it is like that you know <laughs> Sometimes it is. I remember when I was young, we did not have food inside the house, me and my family. You know, we only had salt. Salt. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes life gets tough. You know, people go through stuff. So, Jorgen Krupp, you cannot win all the games. <laughs> you just can't. Yesterday, he got an interview and then he got so annoyed about uh, the reporter was asking him, him questions and I got annoyed oh man you are on staff why are you asking me all these questions I don't like you I don't really don't like you. I'm like what <laughs> and he walked away <laughs> and the reporter is like why are you so stuffing yourself why are you so angry <laughs> there's no need to get angry I'm just asking you questions and, <laughs> and he walked away I'm like oh boy <laughs> This is why he's going to lose the Premier League too. I don't think Liverpool are going to win the Premier League. I don't think. They have to win every game. Ten games left. They have to win all of them. No draw. No draw. Win, win, win. Because I don't see... I don't see Arsenal dropping points. Although you can say, yeah, they can drop points. But I don't see Manchester City dropping points. I don't see them doing it. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Yeah. So... Yeah, subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Eat that no vacation bell. You don't have to miss all the sweet dreams right here at Isaac's Football Club. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day. And God bless.